Assalamu alaikum. Good day, everybody. My name is Nadir Nasser. The topic for my collaborative assignment is applications of network models. This is the outline. We will have introduction. Then we will talk about each of the three network models, showing problems and applications. And finally, we will conclude our presentation. In chapter 11 in our textbook talks about network models which are like mathematical structure of something. Uh, if we plan to distribute our products or construct a house, we need to be familiar with these models. Network models consist of two things, nodes and lines. If, if we think about the nodes like location, city, any place or something, and the lines or arcs like the roads or pipes, we will be able to understand more of these models and understand the problems. The first one is called minimum spanning tree. We, the objective of this method is to determine the path that connect between the nodes using the minimum distance. Applications like connecting phone lines, computer lines, etc. We have problem here. Let's try to solve it. So the problem says we need to connect all of these cities together using the shortest distance. The minimum spanning tree method tells us in order to solve these problems we need to start with any of the nodes. Let's start with the first one, Blacksburg City. Then we need to connect to the nearest node using the minimum distance. So here we have 40 or 140, of course we will choose the 40. And then we will go to the next city with this one. And then we have three routes, 70, 110 or the 70. Of course we will go with the 70 here and the 70 here because it is less than the 110. Now we can see that there is a loop here or a circle and we need to be careful here. So, we can go with the 50 or 70, of course we will go with the 50, but we cannot go to that uh, city and then come back to this node unless we calculate the total distance. So here we have 70, here 135. So if we go to this node or this city to the other cities, it will be 135 plus 50 that's 185 and then plus 60 which is more than 200 while if we go from here to there that's 70 plus 60 130 and then plus 50 180 which is less than going from this route so we will go to this city and then to other cities then we have two more cities here so uh, of course, instead of going with the 145, we will go with the 70, and finally we have 35. So 70 plus 35, it is 105, of course less than the 210. And here we connected all of the cities together with least distance. The second network model is called maximum flow and from its name we need to find the maximum flow between the input node which is the source and the output which is the sink, applications, traffic control system and highway and water pipeline system, phone calls, etc. Let's try to solve this problem together. So gentlemen, here we have a problem and we need to find the maximum flow of water from the source node number one to the sink node number eight. These arrows represent the pipelines and the numbers represent the maximum capacity of each of these pipes. In this maximum flow problem we start with drawing a virtual route or path from the source to the sink. So let's start with this route first. That's one, two, five, seven, 
and 8. Here we have 6, 5, 8, 4. We need to consider the maximum flow, which is the minimum number that we have. So we have here number 4. So here, if we bump 4 here, this, uh, this one will be 2, this will be 1, this will be 4, and this will be 0. So this line, we can bump how many total is 4. Now let's go with the other line. Uh, 1, 2, 4, seven, 5, 6, and this one, of course, because this is not used anymore. So it will be 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 8. Here we have 2, 2, 7, 4, 7. Maximum is 2. So if we bump 2, this will be 0, 0, 5, 2, and 5. Let's see, do we still have another line? Of course, yes, we have 1, 3, 6, 8, because uh, also we have another one, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 8. So we can go with this one, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 8. And here we can see we have maximum is 2. So this will be 4, this will be 1, this will be 3, this will be 0, and this will be minus 2 is 3. Now we have only one last route because this is gone. This is 1, 3, 6, and 8. We can bump 3. So if we bump this will be 1, this will be 2, and this will be 0. So adding the maximum flow of each of our routes is 4 plus 2, 6, plus 2, 8, plus 3, 11. So that's the maximum flow that we can bump in this problem. The third network model is called the shortest path and from its name we need to find the shortest path between two locations uh, or two nodes. Applications, if we not like if we want to lay power or phone cables between two cities we need to find the best minimum distance using this method. Let's have this problem and solve it together. Here we have a problem about the shortest path method. The question says, we have a driver, his name is Ali, he wants to travel from Seattle to two cities. He wants to go to Boston or to Miami, and he needs to know which is the shortest distance between these two cities. So let's consider, he wants to go from Seattle to Boston first. So. He will leave Seattle and he will see. He has two or sorry three roads. This one is 2661 miles, 2161 and 13. Of course he will go with the 13. And then he reached San Francisco. So he wants to leave San Francisco to go to Los Angeles or uh, directly or through Los Angeles. Here we have 629 plus 435 and the total is 1000 plus and here is 1990 so of course he will go with this road and then he will go to from Los Angeles to either of these two cities. This one is 12 to 5 miles and this 1983 of course he will choose the minimum number as long as the addition of these not exceed this number. So if we go from Los Angeles to Denver, that's 12 to 5. And then if we go to Dallas, the number will be 1, 2, 2, 5, plus 1, 2, 5, 8, that's 2,483 and this one is less 
let's consider the other route so this is what two four eight three and if we go from Los Angeles to Geneva to Minneapolis then it will be one two two five plus one four eighty three that's two thousand seven which is more so he will go of course not this route not this route this route then he will reach Dallas now from Dallas he has the one five three two miles or two one one three this of course is less but let's consider the other cities if he goes from Dallas to Washington DC the distance will be 2213 then uh, considering these three routes this is the least number 383 plus 338 this will be more than 700 338 plus 383 that's 721 and this 725 so this route is less so 721 plus 2113 so this one this route is 2834 miles while let's consider the other uh, road so from Dallas to Minneapolis that will be 1532 plus 661 to here it's 2193 and of course 2193 plus 16 more than 3000 and this is better so he will go to this road and he will reach Boston now let's consider the other option if he wants to travel to Miami here the same thing from Seattle to San Francisco to Los and Las Vegas and then to Dallas and of course here is either he, if he goes to this from Dallas to Washington and then to Miami it will be more than 3000 so this is the right path for him finally we can see that these models help engineers to solve many problems using low cost effective ways and also save their time of doing long iterations uh, special thanks to our instructor Dr. Leith thank you all and good luck to all of you Nadir Nasser Assalamu alaikum